Alright, so let's see how to set up um, um, Tor Browser on Kalenix. So just open up your terminal. So now type apt get install Tor dash y. So here the dash y is actually when it asks for a prompt whether yes or no, it will just move on because I already typed dash y. All right. And let's wait for it to install. Uh, to install exactly okay so you can see like which would have prompted me after the done and tell me that these things will be installed on your pc and then you just press you just enter y and continue but since that's y you just go to the end So just wait for it to finish. All right, so it's done. You can clear up the terminal. So the next thing is store doesn't start on um, how do you call it on the root user, but first let's start store before we do the next thing. Store uh, service store start. All right, let's wait for it. Mm -hmm. Alright, then I'm going to service the status. So it's active. You can press hit Q on the dash uh, on the keyboard and then to exit. And then you can clear it up. Alright, so the next thing is we should add the user. So I'll call it user. Um, let's call it, let me call it KTech. Enter. Alright, and then you type. So you can see it's adding user KTech and then adding it to the new group KTech and then new user ktech don't worry about this and to just create a home directory for it all right so type a password make sure you remember that password all right password is updated so says full name you can enter but you can just forget room number phone home phone or other that is the information correct definitely yes enter so you are done so you can clear and then the next thing is uh, let's just close this one okay let's come to root here just click on this arrow here and then come to root and then log out we want to log out and log in with ktech with the new user that we enter So log out.
Alright. So let's wait for it. Right, so open it up and then type the username, okay, type, and the password. And sign in. All right, so that's it. Let's check it up. Um, just hit it so you can see the new user that I created. Okay, check. So you can log out and log in. But let me show you how to set up the tool. So yes, open up Firefox. Alright, so Firefox is open now. Mm. And open and type, uh, sorry, Tor project, then enter. And you can see the first one, top project that's up, click on it, and download, and choose, this is Linux, so you choose for this one, all right. So, save it. Alright, let's save it. Okay, you see, probably that's finished already. So just open up your files. All right, so just come to downloads. You can see it here. When you extract it, so right click on it and choose extract here. So it has finished extracting. Okay, as it says. Still extracting. So you just wait for it. Cool. So yeah, done, right? So just uh, let me just copy it on my desktop. Make sure that you work like this. Okay. Cool. So open up the desktop. You see it there. All right. So here it is. So we need is to open it up and open this one again. So it is the browser, this one. 
So all you need is to right click here and then open in the terminal. All right, so the terminal has opened up, which is right here. Okay, let me minimize this. So, LS, you see the start tour browser. You can see it's green. That means it's a, so just type dot slash start. Just type start and then hit the tab key on the keyboard and then the rest will fill up and then press enter. So it's launching. If it's going to launch, just relax for it. Oops, my connection is off. Go devices. And take settings. And then while it's starting up, I'm just configuring my wireless. And take okay. So it's open, just switch for it. Yes, you can see lantern. Browser dash top browser dash dash to touch. Okay. Oops, I don't know why it's keeping long. Let me try to do the same thing again. Alright. So it's open up. So you can see top browser here. So the same way like the windows, you can just hit connect. Cool. So, so connected to the tour network. Alright, so now it's connected. Just wait for it to open up. All right. So the door bell has opened up. Let's see. The same thing, let me open it back. Maximize the browser, let's see. And let's use DuckDuckGo. So, first thing, yeah, there's this information. Okay, so I DNS, click, test, press enter. All right, just click on this. Let's check our IP address. Cool. So you can see, one eight five point two two point one six. Okay. So basically, and I'm sure this is not my IP address. So let's check for the hidden wiki. Just in the address, I just type uh, hidden wiki barrel. Where can I find it? Deep web links in a service search engine. 
and check this one. Alright, open a new tab. Let me check this one too. Let's see. So I'm just showing you how to access the dark web or the deep web. So hitting make URL. Let that go search engine. Okay, so this is it. This one. Once it said hidden wiki. That's the main thing. Alright. You can just click on it to open it up. Hidden wiki, you can actually close this one. This type if you want. Alright. So, so that's the hidden wiki. So this is like editor speak volunteer. Yeah, six different things you can help us with. Um, basically, uh, let me go down to check. Like that. Alright, so you can see introduction point, financial services, PayPal, cash machine, a whole lot of things. These are a bunch of. That's why you get good things and bad things. You get a whole lot of bad things here. So, books, bags. Uh, yeah, so this kid has a tour brother. You can click on anything that you want. Okay. I'm just showing it to you. So if you want to explore more the deep web site, you can do that. All right, so this is how to open deep web on Kali Linux. So up next, we'll talk about positions. See you in the next tutorial.